If there's one line I would have you remember, it is let your love for one another be that which gets in the way of every harsh word or quick judgment. Always be dependent on the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to give guidance and direction to maintain peace in your relationship. The choices that we make. Please remember it is to God first and most of the time to God alone that you need to go to when there are issues that need to be resolved. Through prayer and through the reading of His Word, find peace. Whenever I think of Ellie, I think of someone who adores the Lord and has such a strong passion to help others get to know Him. Over the past year, me and Ellie have gotten into some pretty deep conversations about theology, relationship advice, or any hard decisions that I have to make. And I look up to her not only because she's a boss woman who has tackled a bunch of seasons of life I haven't been through, but because of her wisdom. Isaac, thank you for creating such a wonderful example for Ava and I in our future expectations and characteristics and the way we should be treated for our future spouses. Um, you not only lead your relationship with strength, humility, wisdom, and truth, but you keep your eyes set on Jesus. Ava always says this, but you set the bar way too high. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. You're so pretty. by the authority invested in me by the state of Arkansas, but more importantly as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together. Isaac, this line is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs>